Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette and I make videos talking about my life and my experiences as a New Zealander living in Germany. So in this video today, I am going to be talking about kindergarten in Germany and my experience of raising kindergarten age children as a foreign mum living in Germany. I made a video on this topic quite a while ago now and I definitely think it's time for an update. My last video was made during the height of the pandemic and things were a little bit different, there were a lot of restrictions. Now we finally have a little bit of normality and I am finally able to talk about German and kindergarten from a different perspective and I have a lot to share. So I am going to be jumping into that really soon but first I would like to take a moment to talk to you a little bit about today's sponsor Ostrom. Ostrom is a Berlin based energy provider who makes switching to 100% green energy easy and affordable. Finding a good energy provider here in Germany can be so confusing and complicated not only for Germans but especially for expats who may not be fluent in German. Trying to navigate through those lengthy German contracts can just be so intimidating. There are over 1,200 energy providers here in Germany alone and they all claim to be the best. Many of them are actually very misleading. They can lock you into contracts with hidden fees, it can be a bit of a nightmare actually. With Ostrom there are no more sneaky tricks. Instead of making you choose from multiple confusing plans, they have simplified everything with one flexible monthly plan and transparent pricing. And everything is in English as well as German which makes Ostrom an excellent choice for expats. Ostrom is truly unique in this regard, being the only energy provider in Germany to offer a website, app, customer service and even the contract in both English and German. Ostrom makes switching to 100% green energy easy and affordable with responsive live customer support and a transparent flat rate of just 6 euros. It's the only green energy provider here in Germany that actually wants you to use less energy. So if Ostrom is something you are interested in exploring, I will leave a link for where you can do so in my description below. Okay guys, so let's jump into it. I am going to be talking about some aspects of my son's German kindergarten that really impressed me. So I'm not going to be talking about German kindergarten in general because every kindergarten is so different based on the region of Germany the kindergarten is located in, the teachers, the kindergarten philosophy. There are a lot of differences between kindergartens here. My daughter Amelia went to a different kindergarten which she really enjoyed. It was a different experience all together but we have since moved house so I'm going to be focusing on Matteo's kindergarten experience because it's very fresh in my mind so in no particular order something that has really impressed me about Matteo's kindergarten is the philosophy the kindergarten philosophy they have sort of like an open concept kindergarten so Matteo's kindergarten has two separate classes the blue group and the yellow group Matteo's in the yellow group and these classes are mixed ages so the ages range from around around three up to six. I did find this really interesting because at Amelia's kindergarten the groups were divided into ages like the younger group and then the older group and I actually really like the mixed age concept. I think it is a really great way for children to learn how to interact and play and solve problems with children of mixed ages. The older children can help look after the younger children and I really think this helps to teach them about empathy and patience and the younger children can learn a lot from the older children. In real life we have to interact with people of all different age groups so I think it's great that the children have a chance to learn how to play with children of different ages. So something else I really like is the openness between the two kindergarten groups. So the kids from the blue group and the kids from the yellow group are able to go back and forth between the two groups, the doors are open. I think this gives the kids more freedom and space and for a high energy boy like Matteo I think this is really important. Especially during the winter time, you know they do get a lot of time outside in the playground but when they are inside I think it's important for them to to have lots of space and opening up these two rooms just gives the kids more freedom. During the pandemic due to all of the COVID restrictions they had to separate the blue group and the yellow group which was such a shame and I remember the teachers just being really 
disappointed about this and just saying, oh, it's such a shame that we have to do this, but you know, this is part of the COVID restrictions. And I didn't really understand why it was such a big deal until they opened up the groups again. Another thing I really like is the fact that the teachers seem to be quite flexible and relaxed about the times the children will eat. So at Amelia's kindergarten, there was a set time that the children had to all just sit down and eat. And if the children weren't hungry, then they missed that opportunity. So at Mateo's kindergarten, the children can kind of decide when they are hungry. Sometimes when I pick up Mateo, I'll see a little group of kids at the table with their lunch boxes eating, and then the other kids will be off playing. And so, yeah, the kids pretty much get to choose when they're hungry. And if they feel like eating, they can sit down and open their lunch box and eat. And so I think this is a really interesting concept. I think it works really well. Something else I noticed is that there's just a really nice sort of peaceful, relaxed atmosphere in the kindergarten. I have talked about the fact that during the height of the pandemic, parents were not actually allowed to enter the kindergarten. So we just had to drop our kids off and pick them up at the door. And I found this a little bit difficult not being able to go inside and see what was going on. But now everything's opened up, the parents are allowed to come in and pick up the kids. And whenever I come in, it's just always really, really peaceful. I have so much respect for kindergarten teachers in general. My mum is a retired kindergarten teacher and I know that it's not an easy job and the teachers at Mateo's kindergarten make it look easy and I know that it's not. And so I really, really respect the fact that they manage to, you know, hold it together even if things are a little bit stressful, they don't make it look like that. Something else I thought was really cool was a book week that they had at Mateo's kindergarten and this is something that happens every year and this was a whole week dedicated to books and reading which I thought was amazing. So each child was asked to bring their favourite book from home and the teachers took it in turns to read the books to the kids and talk about the books. Also some of the parents were asked to come and read to the children so I was asked to come and read in English which was a real honour. I was really happy to do that. So I came in and read The Gruffalo in English and Mateo's teacher actually read the German version so the kids could understand and so I would read a page in English and then she would read a page translated in German and the kids seemed to really enjoy it. I think it was something really new for them to hear the English language. I think this is just a great way to expose children to a new language and that was really fun for me. I actually got a really cute certificate saying thank you for reading to Mateo's class and yeah, it was really, really fun. So at the end of this book week, each child was gifted a book and I was pretty blown away by what this book was about. And so that night, the night that Mateo received this book, my husband Rob read it to him before bed. We always take it in turns to read Mateo a story before bed and it was Rob's turn this time and Mateo was really excited about his, his new book. And this book had to do with blended families, like patchwork families. So the storyline of this book talked about all different types of families, not just the conventional family with a mum and a dad and, you know, a couple of children. It talked about the concept of same-sex relationships, children who had two mums or two dads. It talked about divorce and separation and adoption and step brothers and sisters and step mums and dads. And I just thought this book was amazing. Mateo was like kind of shocked by this book because he'd never really heard of these concepts. This is something I had never really discussed with him. And this book explained it all and it explained that no matter the structure of your family, it's still a family. The truth is there is no such thing as the perfect family. And why should a little child feel any kind of shame about the structure of their family unit? The message of the book was just really embracing diversity and I just thought it was very, very progressive and inclusive and I thought it was a really beautiful book. I know that not every kindergarten in Germany would be open about raising these kind of issues and talking about these kind of topics, but I'm really happy that Mateo's kindergarten is open to this. Okay guys, so last but not least, something else I really appreciate about Mateo's kindergarten is the strong emphasis on integration for the families from non-German backgrounds, particularly the children who are about to head into primary 
primary school. So Mateo is currently a Forshall kind, which means this is his last year of kindergarten before he starts school, primary school. So the Forshall kind at Mateo's kindergarten from non-German backgrounds have the option to attend an integration course at the local primary school. And Mateo was given this option because obviously he comes from a multicultural background. I'm from New Zealand. So there are a handful of kids from Mateo's kindergarten class who go to this little integration course twice a week and there's a mini bus that picks them up and they are taken to the primary school. I just think it's a really great way to help get children from non-German backgrounds integrated before starting school and I think it helps with their confidence and they just make it really really fun for the children. We did consider not sending Matteo only because my husband is a native German speaker and he has a lot of exposure to the German language but the fact is Matteo is growing up in a multicultural family and so I thought it would be great for him to attend this integration course and I really think it's wonderful that this is available to the children and I'm actually pretty sure that this is the case in most German kindergartens so yeah I think it's really great and Matteo loves going. So guys I have come to the end of this video there is actually so much more I could talk about on this topic so I will be making future videos related to kindergarten in Germany. I also wanted to give a big thanks to Ostrom for partnering with me in this video today. Ostrom makes switching to 100% green energy easy and affordable. They also offer all of their services in English as well as German. If you are interested in checking them out I will leave a link for where you can do so in my description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!